a new chain put on my Rebel and then I'm going to go for a little ride and tell you all about the time when my Rebel was almost stolen from me. So enjoy! Right, that's my chain dam. God, I'm having one of those days where like I'm constantly making myself look like even more of an idiot than I think I am. I missed the turn to get to RJ's, which made me late by the way. And so I did a U-turn on one of the roads. And it was absolutely clear when I did it. And I ended up on the other side of the road because I was doing it on a weird camber and it wasn't like the easiest place to do a U-turn, contrary to what I thought when I started it. And then this car, he was coming from my direction, thank God. Uh, so he wasn't coming down the opposite side of the road where I was. The whole thing was just so slow going. All I was trying to do was just whip round because I'd gone the wrong way. Even before that, there was somebody just giving way to me. And I nodded them, thanked them, whatever. And I went to turn on my indicator and hit the bloody horn. So he probably thought I was honking at him for some reason. And then just now, I was trying to go right at a T-junction monitored by light and it just turned amber as I'd gone past the line I was like, oh, there's plenty of time to get out but the cars in front of me were turning so slowly and I was like, I'm pretty vulnerable on a bike, obviously I'm not going to try and turn right in this T-junction when I know the uh, lights have just changed against me so I stopped but I couldn't see the traffic lights, my traffic lights to be fair, the white line was like half a mile behind me I started slowly rolling backwards and before I knew it, the cars behind me, waiting where they should have been, um, were like honking at me to, to move. I was like, oh, I just felt like such an idiot. If only the cars in front of me have actually moved a bit faster. So I feel a bit out of sorts today. amazing right getting lost in the Quantox. I wanted to talk about my story somewhere that wasn't my garage and uh, for some reason I wanted to do it to camera rather than uh, to the drift on on my head but it's the most humid muggy day I don't know why I've decided today is the day to put my face on a camera so anyway uh, my story about how my rebel was almost stolen I'd only had it like a couple of months so one afternoon a couple of police officers were going around the neighbourhood saying lots of people have had their garages left open when they'd left them locked. So we went out to my garage to check it and yeah, sure enough, it was left wide open. I didn't expect to see it, but my rubble was still in there. So I thought, okay, that's fine. That's good. Uh, they, they haven't taken the rubble. So yeah, we thought fine, that's well and good. And then I sort of like approached the rubble and I saw... Uh, bits of my disc lock, bits of my disc lock on the ground next to the bike. I thought, okay, obviously they've had a go here. And they had, obviously they took like a, a hammer or something, just hit that disc lock and uh, it snapped in two. Still have it on the floor as a memento, I guess. So I thought, okay, fine, they've had a go, but she's still here, right? And then I sort of got closer to her again. I couldn't straighten the handlebars. They were they were um, locked, which is fine because that's what I did. I locked the handlebars, <laughs> that's what you meant to do, right? So I went to do the normal thing and unlock the handlebars and I noticed that it was all scratched around there. Couldn't get the key into the lock at all. So obviously they'd had a go at that too. You could see scratches where they'd tried to sort of chisel, I guess, chisel the lock off maybe or, or whack it with a hammer to try and break it. And I also <laughs> saw that my handlebars weren't quite straight anymore. They were bent and my speedo was twisted where it's on the bars and obviously they'd kicked the handlebar as far as hard as they could to try and to try and force the steering lock so amazingly the the mechanism that most people say is just 
the most useless security device on a bike ever. That's the one that actually saved my bike. So when I discovered that, I was left with obviously a problem. I can't even unlock my bike's handlebars. So I called uh, my local bike shop, who kind of knew me anyway, explained the situation and they, they came round, which is amazing. They came round to sort out the lock. I can't remember if it was there or later on, but they had to take the whole lock off. It took him a good while as well. It was not easy. You know, he went into it saying like, oh yeah, they're usually quite easy to break. Famous last words, isn't it? Once he had freed up the bars, I um, had to ride it to his shop to replace the handlebars and uh, get the steering lock replaced. Strange to say, that wasn't my first time riding a bike with wonky handlebars. Hopefully it'll be my last, but let's face it, probably not. Luckily it was only like 10 minutes down the road, so really not that big of a deal. Just not a lot of fun. So I got it there and I had to get new handlebars and we ordered a new steering lock, obviously, from which kind of arose like another issue and that is that it never arrived, basically. We were trying to get one from Honda Direct and it was delayed and it was delayed and it was delayed. They had actually recalled a lot of their steering locks for some kind of fault. So obviously they had to replace those, let alone sort of send out others as spares and repairs. So since then, I have upped the security on my garage. You might wonder what the police did about this. Uh, the answer basically is not much. They sort of left us with a, like a log number kind of thing to use if anything sort of came of this. But since my bike was there, um, I didn't really bother chasing that up. So it is basically a happy ending, really. It's just a, a little bump in the road of owning bikes, apparently, because it's not that uncommon, is it? That is the end of my story. Hopefully this doesn't happen to any of you lot or hasn't happened to any of you lot. Well, at least I was left with my bike.